The Google Pixel series hasn't always been renowned for having the best battery life, so here are a few real world tips that don't disable core functions to help you improve the battery of your Pixel smartphone. Before that, if you like tips and tricks specifically for Pixel and Google devices, go on, become a friend of the channel and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, you get content, we like it, and it's nice for everyone involved. And if you're a real supporter, how about becoming a channel member if you really do love our content? You'll get some neat stuff, shout outs, discounts, and it helps keep the wheels turning, but let's save your phone battery. There's a couple of things we need to go over first because there are limitations to what we can do here. Smartphones use lithium ion batteries that weaken over time. Each full charge or multiple partial charges count as one cycle. Reducing the cycles on that battery extends long-term battery life. Our first tip before we even start messing around in settings and whatnot is to aim for frequent smaller top-ups instead of draining the battery completely. That means going from 100 to 0%. And this accounts for every single pixel that you probably will be using daily nowadays. Ideally, we would say keep the charge between 20 and 80%. That's a general consensus for long-term battery health. There are exceptions to the rule, but for older phones with many cycles, it is worth noting the damage might already be done. You'll probably want a battery replacement, which is way cheaper than a new phone anyway. And it is something we would suggest if you want to hang on to something for a long time period of time. So with that little bit of battery housekeeping out of the way, we all know the display is one of the biggest battery hogs on any smartphone, especially as smartphones are ballooned in size. And here are some display specific tips to help you improve the battery life of Google Pixel. One of our first tips is to disable auto brightness. And it seems counterintuitive at first, but having your display constantly switch from the upper to the lowest brightness levels based on the ambient light using that feature can actually adversely affect how long your phone will last. In my case, I've found that with the Pixel 8 Pro, it does do that quite a lot, depending on how my lighting is in the, in the immediate surroundings, but disabling the function and manually setting brightness as needed has been a better way to reduce power consumption, especially as I've found a pretty sizable and big window for brightness that is the most comfortable. This is something we suggest doing, so go into settings, go into display, disable this and find a brightness that suits you. You can always change this from a quick settings panel. Anyway, if your Pixel runs Android 10, yes, it actually took this long to add, the setup process auto enables a dark theme. This saves your eyes and in theory with AMOLED screens increases the battery life. That's great, but you could actually miss out some, some extra power savings if you have a bright, colorful wallpaper. I'd suggest try setting a darker wallpaper and that might actually help eke out a little more from your phone. So I will leave a link in the description to some dark wallpapers that I've been using. These seem to make a difference. They're a little bit easier on your eyes and they fit better with that dark theme anyway. So an optional one we want to suggest, although if you do have a high refresh rate, I wouldn't say do that, is disable the smooth display option. Of course, high refresh rate displays can be taxing on battery. And I am hesitant to tell people to tune their displays down from 90 or 120 hertz to 60 hertz as this does actually ruin the smooth android experience with a pixel device that said sometimes dropping the refresh rate is a surefire way to improve pixel battery longevity so go ahead and try that out for yourself another tip that could improve battery life on your pixel is adjusting the screen timeout phase this is just how long it takes before your phone locks itself or puts the display into sleep mode you can set this as low as 15 seconds which i think is a little bit too much but i think 30 seconds is probably going to be the sweet spot most people should aim for, and this is very easy to set within the display settings. The lock screen is another area to try and claw back some pixel battery improvements. If you don't care about the always on display, you can actually disable this by toggling the always show time and info option in the lock screen settings pane. I find that's too easy to activate on your pixel screen just by moving or touch it as well. And because of that, I'd suggest disabling your display from becoming active by turning off the tap to check phone and lift to check phone options. Most of the time, you'll press that side power button anyway, so it feels a little bit of a waste of time having these active. While you're there, I'd also disable wake screen for new notifications. If you're happy or you do check notifications manually and don't need the screen powering on with every app ping. If you get lots of notifications, this will add up, so it's well worth disabling. So that's the display portion out of the way. As we all know, not all apps are created equally. Some might be hurting the daily battery life spawning your Pixel. And here are some tips on what to look out for. Location usage is one of the biggest draining factors, and we're not talking about Google Maps to get around. But I will ask, do you need to let apps like Google Maps know your location 
even when you're not using it or actively using it? Well, the privacy dashboard section lets you see just what apps have access to your location, the camera, the microphone, and all of that information throughout the previous 24 hour period. Some you'll naturally wanna keep and others you should disable if you're not using them extensively as they're negatively affecting lifespan with real little benefit on your daily experience as you're gonna open the application anyway. The downside is that some sections of your phone might not work as expected and certain widgets specifically may not work as intended, but it's likely a price worth paying to get an extra few hours from your phone screen. Another way you can check and disable apps causing battery issues is to access the battery usage panel. This section gives you an idea of the app screen time since the last full charge of your device, although I disagree with that metric for being the perfect metric. The important metric is the background usage though, which allows for feed updates, powers notifications, and more. You can disable background usage or set rules for almost all apps on your phone, which is really useful. Using the battery usage section, just select an application, hit the allow background usage toggle, or go a step further and tap this option to choose if apps have optimized or unrestricted background usage settings, and you can tune this as you basically want your phone to run the most efficiently. You can also go a step further and simply disable some apps that you're not using. Head into settings, apps, select an app and disable it. This should mean that it'll have no access to anything and won't cause you problems later down the line. This is a somewhat simple and silly tip actually, we should have shown this out first, but if you're at home, there's likely no reason that your phone needs access to your location at all times. What I would suggest is just using the quick settings panel, add that location toggle and toggle it on and off as you need it. It should mean that you gain some extra battery because no apps that will access your location are gonna be able to do so. Of course, a phone needs connections to, well, be a phone. And even so, there are lots of little quality of life functions that might not actually be useful to you each and every day. Here are some things I'd suggest to play with to improve your Pixel battery, and they all relate to connectivity. So if you live in an area without 5G coverage, I think disabling this connection option on your Google Pixel can be a smart way to extend battery life. Since your phone constantly searches for a 5G signal that it can't grasp, it drains battery unnecessarily. So switching to 4G, a more widely available network, lets your phone use less power while still providing a good connection for most everyday tasks. You can also do things like disable mobile data in the background if you primarily rely on Wi-Fi. You can do this by disabling the mobile data always active toggle in developer options, as it is a pretty sneaky way to squeeze some extra juice out of your phone. This setting is actually enabled by default and keeps mobile data running even when connected to Wi-Fi, allowing for faster network switching when you do disconnect. This constant background activity can be a hidden battery drain in areas with strong and stable Wi-Fi, especially when you're at home or at the office, for instance. Turning this off lets your phone focus solely on that Wi-Fi connection, potentially improving battery life without sacrificing that everyday functionality, as when you disconnect, it'll power back on those modems and connect to a local cell tower anyway. To add to that, even when you're not using your Pixel, we'll actually constantly scan for available Wi-Fi networks. And if a public network is available, you'll get a notification to try and connect to it or to alert you that it is available. In some cases, this is a nice feature to have, especially if you're out in public, but most of the time, this process is something that you'll do manually by going to the Wi-Fi settings menu anyway. So why waste that battery? If you wanna change this, go to settings, internet, Wi-Fi and network preferences and toggle the notify for public network option. And this should reduce that, help you save a little bit of battery there as well. So there are a few practical tips for battery saving on Google Pixel devices. And at no point have we claimed this is a comprehensive list of tips for you to save that little bit of battery. We've also refrained from suggesting any device specific functions be disabled, things like face unlock or even those high refresh rate displays, because that kind of defeats the purpose of spending 700, 800, 900 dollars plus on a phone only to avoid using the real key selling features. I think if you don't want to adjust anything, just try using the battery saver mode. It's baked in, and although it does actually disable some features on your phone, it's useful when you need to get more lifespan. And on top of that, the extreme battery saver mode turns your phone into a basic vessel for calls and texts. If you're in dire need of increased longevity, say you're out traveling and you just cannot get near a charger. I wanna ask you, what battery saving tips do you have? Save not using your phone at all. Do you have the Pixel owners? 
Let us know in the comment section. I'm actually fascinated with this as I'm trying to improve my own Pixel 8 Pro battery life at the moment. As with the last couple of updates, it's taken a little bit of a hit compared to where it was a few months ago. Thanks for watching though, especially to our channel members who are on screen now. We love you guys. Keep sponsoring the channel and I will speak to you later.